Hello, Ophia Kiss. I'm so sorry your reading got cut off of the last upload that I did for Fire Signs. So, we're gonna go ahead and do it again, you monkeys. It's all right. Let's look here and see what we can do for you. Let's say a quick blessing, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. Alrighty, I'm gonna start with this Star Power Tarot for you guys. Yep, yes we are. Start it again. All right, what do we have for Ophiuchus out there this week? Queen of Wands, yes we do. You are so good looking, you know that? That's what I have to say to you. You're good looking, everything you touch seems to be golden this week, good job. You have a light over your head this week, Ophiuchus. Everybody is paying attention to you. Um, so the Queen of Wands is known for being the most attractive of all the queens in the deck, just simply because they're so magnetic. Um, they're very popular, they're very well liked. I'm not just trying to gas you up here, this is the card that came out for you, all right? All right. You're like, girl, you know it's true. <laughs> Ten of Cups, what do you have going on, Ophia? Because this is good news. Maybe this is why I needed to stop and re-record your reading. I uh, Trust me, I've actually, this will be the third time I have tried to record your reading today, Ophia, because my phone is freaking out. It keeps dumping things. It's telling me I'm out of storage. It's not true. I'm not. I don't know why it keeps telling me that. It believes that I am. But maybe this is why. It's because this is very positive. There may have been something that shifted for you within the last, I don't know, 12 hours or so. Sometimes that happens. And so I'm happy to do this. Um, Ten of Cups is about the happiest card you can get when it comes to your love life. It can indicate... Um, a family coming together, a blended family coming together, uh, meeting a fam meeting um, a significant partner in your life. It can indicate a marriage. The magician. So this is my card of Ophiuchus. Other readers will say that it's Aries. That's fine. This is just my personal card for Ophiuchus, the magician. Um, this is someone who is, I'm, I'm hearing making lemonade out of lemons, but... I think it's more than that. I think that, and I'm hearing destiny. I feel like something is happening for you this week, Ophiuch, is something that you have worked hard on, something that you have created uh, with your own little hands in some way. And it's, it's taking you to a place of um, abundance and especially in your love life. I'm going to, there is the Ace of Cups. What, I just got chill bumps all over my legs. Oh my gosh. You've got the Judgment card out there and you've got the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is the minor arcana of the magician for me as a reader. So this, and it's a card of manifestation. It's a card of making your dreams a reality. What was I say? Lemonade out of lemons. This Judgment energy is, um, I'm hearing when it's time, it's time. I think that something, you're doing something amazing this week, Ophiuchus. I, again, I'm not just trying to gas you. These are the cards. I've got the six of wands in the upright position. Very good. I have the 10 of swords in the, um, yeah, yeah. And the justice card. Some of you have been through a major ending. Some of you have, may have been through recent legal battles, something like that. Something that you were like, man, I don't know if I'm going to make it out on the other side of this, but it looks like you have. Um, you have a lot of community support here for you. What was I saying? It's like you have a light over your head. Um, I, I got to leave this up here because there's more here. Um, this six, you see like all of these are pointing to you. All signs are pointing to you this week, Ophiuchus. You may have a lot of people who want to give you you support whatever it is you do and it looks like grassroots you've done something from the ground up here you've created something from the ground up and it's beautiful I'm impressed everyone is impressed it seems like I there's an energy of like 
just an awful lot of attention. I don't know if it's fame. I don't know what it is that you're doing. Um, some of you may be musicians. Some of you waited a long time for this. And some of you poured your heart and soul into whatever this is that you've been doing for a long time. Um, it's like um, burning the midnight oil. Somebody who gave 110% when you only had like 75% in you really. Um, this is someone who kept going. You kept moving. You kept building on yourself. There's an off. I feel like you dealt with a lot of confidence conflict with this, there's the star. That's exactly what I was looking for. When I was talking about an energy of fame, the star card carries that. Um, it's about divine blessings though. I always call it Pandora's box because when you open it, it unleashes the good, the bad, and the ugly of everything that belongs to you on your life path, on your soul's path. And you were meant to do something. I feel like you've done it. Um, some of you may be artists, you may be creators, you may be singers, you may be songwriters, musicians, something like that. Um, and whatever you've been doing, it hasn't been easy. I, I feel like I'm talking to someone whose fingers hurt, someone who has really done a lot with themselves, um, and someone who waited a long time for this to start to take off, for this to start to bring prosperity into their lives. I have the strength card under that. That's Leo energy. You had to face a lot of demons down with whatever this is that you've done. Ah. This is someone who's created something outside from like the inside of themselves out that you've poured your heart out here. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm so glad to re-record your reading for the third time. I am. All right, so let's dig into this. I am gonna use this traditional Rider Waite deck to clarify. Yes, I have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. That's about hard work. I have the Justice card out here again. That's Libra for the second time. Justice energy here, justice energy here. Um, whatever it is that you've been working on this, and, and for those of you who have been through difficult times in the recent past, I feel like there's a rebalancing of the scales where things weren't fair before, and, and sometimes life isn't fair, and we just have to get over it, and we have to accept it, but some Sometimes things are not done fairly. They are done unjustly. And if that was a situation that went on for you here, Ophiuchus, where something just wasn't right and you sucked it up and you dealt with it and you dealt with it in like the best way you possibly could, and maybe it went on for days, weeks, months, years even, it feels like now you're going to be experiencing a payoff for coming in at... Um, the level that your higher self wants you to be at, the level that your higher self asked you to be at. Some of you dealt with people who weren't very nice to you and it took everything in you to not retaliate um, and for you to maybe pray about things before you did them. Maybe you prayed for your enemies, not that you should have enemies, but maybe you prayed for people who weren't very good to you. Um, maybe you... I don't know, made lemonade out of lemons, but whatever it is that you did, it's like the universe, God, whoever is your higher power noticed. And it feels like karma has stepped in here for you, Ophiuchus. Mm. There's the six of wands again. Um, some of you, yes. Some of you were going through a lot and a lot of people sure did have a lot to say about it behind your back. Ooh, I know. It happens to the best of us. Um, and to the worst of us, it happens to everybody. But uh, there's an energy of gossip and slander that is carried with that five of swords. It's possible that you may have been going through difficult times and people who should have had your back, people who said that they would have your back, people who called themselves your friends really weren't your friends. Um, you may have separated yourself from these people and it feels like that was the right choice. And you may have kind of walked a solitary path for a while. And you may have found a new sense of community and new friends, new support um, that's coming in here. And it's a good thing you left those other folks behind because it doesn't feel like they had your best interest at heart. And so good job you. Um, let's, let's, I have the moon and oh, yes. Okay. More about that in a minute. Okay. Um, some of you have had to deal with deep, dark stuff, um, mental health challenges. Some of you have had um, 
because the moon can be about secrets. It can be about things that we keep suppressed that we don't want other people to see in us or things that we don't want other people to know about us. Um, you may have, um, I'm hearing a lot of you just dealt with a lot of things and nobody really knew the whole story. And you may have, like I said, had people talking about you behind your back at some point and it was not comfortable and it was ugly and you felt like it was following you around because whoever you are, you do seem to have a lie over your head. Um, and not everyone is going to always be nice. It's just the truth. Um, we can try, um, but it's not always gonna be the case. Regardless of that situation, it looks like you cut that out and you put your nose to the grindstone and you focused on something that was your true path forward. And you have, um, I don't know, I'm hearing like roadblocks have been removed for you. You can expect a lot of success, um, not just this week, but from here on out. I'm not saying every single day of the rest of your life is going to be perfect and sunshine and roses, certainly not. But it looks like for a while, things are going to be really happy. Now this... <sighs> This week, Ophiuchus, it does feel like you're pulling in some kind of a romantic energy into your life. I have this Emperor, I have the Ten of Cups, and I have the Ace of Cups. The Emperor is Aries energy, but it's also Divine Masculine energy. It's um, someone who is older, a little bit more mature, someone who's very stable, someone who is kind of large and in charge. Uh, this could be you, but... This could also be someone that you're pulling into your energy and I kind of think it is. All right. Um, I'm gonna leave that one in there. Let's just tell me more about this person because there's definitely a person that's coming in. I've got the world card. And I've got the Empress on the bottom of the deck. I am so glad I checked the bottom of the deck. What a pair you two are, whether you are a masculine Ophiuchus or a feminine Ophiuchus, it doesn't matter. It feels like there, there's heavy divine counterpart energy coming in for you this week. Uh, yeah, okay. You have waited a long time for this person. I feel like there's an energy of manifestation here, again, with that magician and that three of wands energy. This world is the final card in a major deck of tarot, right? Major arcana of tarot cards. I just saw 1200 on the counter. Um, this, this world card signifies a completion. It's time to move forward in your life. You have slogged through the muck long enough. Now it's time for you to be happy, and now it's time for you to meet this person that, um, I don't know if it's that they help your dreams become a reality here, because quite honestly, I feel like you have done that on your own, Ophiuchus. I believe you have made all of this happen on your own, whatever it is that you're doing, but this seems to be a counterpart that's coming into your life. Tell me more about that. Two of Pentacles, a perfect balance of some sort is coming 